The NetSuite file cabinet acts as a virtual storage place for all the documents you upload to NetSuite. Let's take a look at how the file cabinet works. We'll look at how to set up the file cabinet, how to set restrictions on folders, and some tips for editing files in the file cabinet. Let's dive in. First, how would you set up the file cabinet? You can enable the file cabinet feature under the data management section of the company tab and enable features. When this feature is turned on, you can upload your documents and images to NetSuite and link them to specific records and transactions. Once you've turned on this feature, you can get to the file cabinet by navigating to Documents, Files, File Cabinet. The file cabinet looks a lot like how your computer's files are stored. On the left-hand side, you'll see a list of top-level folders. Selecting one of the folders on the left will open up that folder in the center, allowing you to see all the files and, when applicable, subfolders in that folder. There are several ways you could upload files to the file cabinet. While in the file cabinet, you'll see both an Add File button and an Advanced Add button. With Add File, you can just upload a single file at a time. Advanced Add allows you to upload multiple files in a zip format. You can have these files uploaded as a zip file, or you can choose to unzip the files. There are also a number of system-generated files. NetSuite will automatically put these in the appropriate system-generated folders. For example, the Attachments Received and Attachments Sent folders will store your email attachments. NetSuite simply pulls any email attachments and adds them to the right folder in the file cabinet. Another key way that you would upload files to the file cabinet is directly from Records and Transactions. On Records, you can add files from the file sublist under the Communication tab, and on Transactions, you can add files from the file sublist under the Activities tab. To add a file from the file sublist on either a record or a transaction, select the plus button and then upload the file from your computer using the pop-up window. Let's look at some key aspects of managing the files in your file cabinet. First, it's essential that you set the right permissions to prevent unauthorized users from gaining access to sensitive information stored in the file cabinet. While you can't set permissions for individual files, you can set permissions for subfolders. To create a new subfolder, you would just select the New Folder button on the top right of the file cabinet. Then, on the Document Folder page, you would name the new folder, select the top-level folder that this folder will live in, and set any restrictions. You can restrict a folder by class, department, location, subsidiary, or group. You can also make a folder visible only to you by selecting the private checkbox. What if you need to edit a file in the file cabinet? Some types of documents, like CSV, text, HTML, and JavaScript, can be edited and saved right in NetSuite. Then, on the File page, select the Edit link under the Media Item field. This will open up a window where you can directly edit the file. Other types of documents, however, cannot be edited directly in NetSuite. To edit these documents, you would need to download the file, make your changes, and re-upload the file to NetSuite. In the File cabinet, you'll see a download link to the right of each file. You can also select the Edit link and then on the File page, select the Download link under the Media Item field. The NetSuite file cabinet allows you to store important documents right in your NetSuite account. You can also easily connect these documents to your records and transactions, ensuring that essential information is accessible and traceable. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, let us know by hitting the like button. And to learn more about how SuiteRev can help you with all of your NetSuite needs, visit us at SuiteRev.com.